Warning, all views expressed in this video are from the creator and do not represent the opinions of any other company or individual. Content shown within is intended for entertainment purposes only and no infringement is intended. Enjoy! <laughs> Hey there, this is Perch. Well, for several months now, I've been recording videos, little essays, topics of comics in all different forms, but the one thing I've struggled to get done is the introduction. It's the, the first video, the this is what this channel is gonna be about, this is what you can expect. And I don't know why this task has been so hard for me to get done. I write notes, I create a little list for myself, try to script, try it ad hoc. I've set up equipment to make this all right. And the first step has proven to be the most difficult. I have a feeling that if you do videos or have ever done any kind of writing, uh, maybe made a comic book since we're keeping it on topic, this situation probably is familiar to you. Taking that first step is the hardest. So today, I finally decided enough's enough, took a little walk outside, got a little bit of sun, rare for this area, and that's what I'm doing now. This is ad hoc. I have no script, no notes, just a couple ideas stuffed in my head to put down. So here goes. I'm doing this channel because I love comics. I love all comics. Now, I've been picked at for the uh, topic because not all comics are the same. And there's a difference between saying, I love all comics and I love this comic. And what I mean by that is, I love that all these different comics exist. I'm glad they exist. I'm glad that a comic is made even when it's clearly not something I'm going to enjoy because it means somebody's going to enjoy it. And I'm not saying that just from a retailer perspective. I think having lots of different stories out there, stories that appeal to different people and different types and different forms and different tastes, it's a good thing. It's a good thing because it brings a lot of people to the medium, it keeps it healthy, it keeps it alive, and it keeps different ideas flowing. I don't know where the Dark Knight Returns came from. I mean, I don't know what ideas were created and, uh, and helped put that comic in motion. Was it just Miller sat down one day and just knew exactly what he was going to write and do and just out it came? Or was he influenced by things? Well, chances are he was influenced by something. And if he's anything like you and me and most people, your influences are not always apparent. They don't always exactly fit what you wind up with. You may see her a song, you may see a commercial, you may go for a walk outside and have an idea for something. And we should have as many of those ideas out there as possible. So this channel, first and foremost, is about my love for comics. It's about my love for the business, the medium, the things people read and enjoy, the, the comics that people create, and everything that goes into it. And what I'm going to try and do is certainly explain a few things. There's a lot of parts about this business that are complex, that are not straightforward, that have been misrepresented and misunderstood in the business. So I'm going to try and bring some of those lessons, if you will, to you. But I'm going to try not to make them stuffy. I'm cringing when I say the word lessons because the last thing I want anyone to feel like is this is school. It's not. I'm just here to kind of entertain you and tell you some things and share my view of things. If you don't agree, that is 100% cool. I don't care. I don't mean that in a mean way. I mean, I'm assuming most of you won't agree. I'm assuming nobody will agree 100% with me, and I am totally comfortable with that. I don't mind. I will try and bring data. I'm going to try and explain why things are the way they are, and I'll try and bring some historical perspective to the world. I think that comics, uh, a lot of people are viewing it in like a five-year window. They forget kind of what happened before. Maybe they don't have the reference for what happened before. But comics as a business in many ways are very predictable. They follow trends. They're like movies in that way. You can kind of predict what's going to happen and where. And any comic shop that's been around for a long time, one of the reasons they've been around is because they've gotten good at predicting what's going to sell, what's not going to sell, what's going to catch and not. And those things aren't always predictable. You know, Marvel and DC will promote 
books and they'll devote splash pages and advertising and everything else. But pretty early on, most people can tell it's going to be a dud. Uh, the only reason comic stores overorder in a lot of cases is because they were forced to because of incentive programs or they were suckered in with a solicitation that changed midway through. Or maybe they had a bunch of customers that reserved something then bailed out the last minute, although that doesn't happen very often. But if you want to be good in comics and you want to run a business, eventually you're going to have to get good at predicting. And that's part of what I'll try and bring to this channel. What am I predicting? What do I see? I'm not going to be mean about it. I, there's no malice when I say I think this book's going to be a hit and this book's going to be a dud. No offense to the creators. It's not always their fault it's going to be a dud. Maybe it's the way it's packaged and positioned and marketed. Who knows? There's a lot of reasons why things don't catch with people. The Inhumans was a classic example. There were a lot of people who were calling for Inhumans as a series before they went down that whole road. They, people liked it. It was kind of a cult hit. And But when you saw the marketing start coming out, when you saw the titles come out, even though some of the creators involved were pretty cool, I mean, nobody's going to ever vote against Joe Mad. you could tell that series was not going to go from day one. It felt inorganic, it felt forced, and it was wrong. And in hindsight, I mean, anyone can predict that. I have a feeling we're about to go down the same track here with Eternals. Um, hopefully they've got some nice long-term thinking creators involved who can really make it a go. But when you try and force something on readers, it doesn't stick. Or viewers, or anyone. You look at all the fuss that went on over that new She-Ra reboot. At the end of the day, it was a Netflix cartoon. Some people watched it. Some people didn't. But it, it was not groundbreaking. It wasn't garbage either. It, it appealed to a certain group, and that group liked it, and good for them. But you could see it coming. When you saw the early stills, when you saw the animation and stuff going on, you kind of knew what you were going to get, and you got what you thought you were going to get. There weren't a lot of surprises there. Anyway, I'm going to do some reviews of comics. I'm going to go back into the archive, look at things, hopefully do some with some humor. But more importantly, I'm just doing this in a way that I can talk to you, have a conversation. On Twitter, Facebook, on those mediums, you're limited. No one wants to read a gigantic book. No one wants to read 50,000 tweets, although I try and make them. So the video is a chance to tell you things in a longer format, to explain things with more detail and more nuance than a quick tweet can do. And I hope you enjoy them. And if you don't, that's, like I said, it's okay. I'm not out for big subscriber counts. I'm not out for big hits. This channel, it's never going to have the kind of attention that a lot of the other channels that have more flashy topics or more exciting uh, people doing the voices. It's okay. Those deserve the attention. Those are out for the hits. I'm just here to give some information, hopefully entertain. So that's what this is. That's my rambling introduction. Hopefully everything that follows this is a little bit better, a little bit more coherent, but that's what we're all about. Most importantly, if you have something you have a question about, you have a topic, you have a, how is this from this, this perspective, post in the comments, go to Twitter, send me an email, whatever it happens to be, let me know, I'll do a video on it. I'm here to explain things and try and do the best I can. I guess one more last warning in all this. You'll find me to be a pretty middle-of-the-road kind of guy. That doesn't mean I don't have opinions. I absolutely do. My opinions are very strong. It just means I'm not in the mood to really go to war for those opinions. If I don't like a comic book, and somebody else does, there's no point to me getting in a big fight over it. There's nothing to gain for me. So why? And you'll see a lot of when I bring topics, and I bring perspectives, and I bring reviews, I'm going to try and do it from a perspective of, Here's what probably works. Here's what probably doesn't. Here's what appeals to some people. Here's what appeals to other people. Here's why you might not like it. Here's why you might hate it. I guess those are the same thing. Anyway, that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to try and present all sides as equally as possible, but I am going to let you know my opinion on things. I definitely have comics I love, have cared about for a long time. I have artists and writers that I really like, and I have others that, you know, in some cases, I've met these people. They're very nice people. I just can't stand what they do. So, you know, we'll talk about that. Probably won't get into too much of the drama. I mean, do we really need another channel talking about some unprofessional thing somebody did on Twitter? There's plenty of people covering that ground. And for the record, being unprofessional on Twitter is bad. It's bad for business. It's bad for the individual and their longevity as a professional. It looks scummy and it's, it's gross. But everyone knows that. You don't need 80 videos explaining that. You do, 
it, it's pretty obvious. So I'm going to let those lie. Other people can cover them. If you have a question about a particular action, I mean, I'll answer it. But if you're asking me if a certain behavior is professional or should be allowed or not, you already know the answer. The answer is no. But I'm not in charge of these companies and I'm not in that position. And like I said, other people can cover that ground. So that's what we've got. There's my introduction. That's what this channel is going to be about. Hey, if it's for you, subscribe. Would love to get your comments. If you think someone else may enjoy it, share it with them. We'll try and do something happy and positive here. There you go. There's my uh, off the cuff, taking a walk introduction to the channel. And now we can get things going. Uh, by the way, everything's going to be about this length. It'll all be about 10 to 15 minutes. Nice quick listens. Hopefully something that uh, can pass the time while you're driving or going on a walk of your own or what have you. And that's it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for stopping by. And I hope you'll, uh, you'll follow along.